Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're gonna be looking at Pop OS. This is the operating system that was basically developed by System76. This is based on Ubuntu, so basically expect a bunch of Linux stuff here. I mean, it's Linux, obviously. So let me type my super hardcore password here and let's see what do we have here. It's loaded and that's what I like about it. Well, the background is kind of nice, Pop OS. Let's see what does it have here. It's very minimalistic, as you can see, there's nothing on desktop right here. I'm just looking here, there's nothing. But what do we have here? And this is basically a calendar and update notification and do not disturb mode. Okay, I'm gonna clear it. I'm not gonna install the update right now, but it's good to know. And what else here? Here we have tile windows, floating windows exceptions, have shortcuts. Guys, this operating system is like really, really utilizing all those kind of interesting shortcuts. So yeah, this is cool. What else here? Probably in some network settings. No, it's not network because, well, it looked like a network or something. But yeah, basically this is a volume, a wired connection, Bluetooth and all this kind of settings. Cool. So here what do we have? This is like, ah, it's basically like the same thing. Okay, that's fine. All right. So here we have the date. By the way, it's like end of the year. This year is finally coming to an end, which is like, I'm really, really happy about that. I hope some interesting stuff can happen next year. But yeah, this year, this year was like different, I would say. So here we have what? We have activities. Right click has what? Like new folders, select all, show desktop and files. Okay, open terminal, pretty much all that stuff. All right. So let's go to activities and open it. All right, so here we have like a dock. There's also a way of installing a dock to your left side permanently. So yeah, you can do it like in Mac OS basically. And it feels like really inspired by something like from Apple, but let's see. So what I have here, pop shop, terminal, uh, files, and the Firefox installed. Okay, how about we open files and see the file browser right here. All right, this is the file browser. Nothing fancy here, but I really like the design. It still feels like nice. Kind of like a dark mode applied to something, but it's still, it, it feels good, yeah. Okay, come on, like, I don't want to update right now. Anyway, home, desktop, documents, and you only have access to what you actually need, right? Like, not destroy stuff here. What about here? The other locations, yeah, we don't really need this. Downloads and all that stuff. Okay, this looks good. So, and what else? Okay, so this is like sorting criteria and all that, which is cool. Search bar works for me. What else? Terminal, well, I mean, just a typical standard terminal, which is what we expect here. Okay, how about the pop shop? Pop shop is basically like an app store for the pop OS. And what do we have here? All right, so how about we go to development? Okay, open up. All right, I leave programming language. It's still loading. Well, I guess it takes some time my connection but notice this one so you can actually select what kind of binary you want to install in this case it only has a flat pack but typically have an option like installing the flat pack which is like a standalone binary you install in the system or just a regular kind of ubuntu kind of installations of course you have the freedom of choice here which is great i mean freedom of choice is always good android studio android studio probably should have some other option here no it still has the flat pack only hmm what do we have here uh where's the reviews i don't see any reviews here Okay, how about we try something else? How about we go? How about Slack? Uh, does it have any other option? As you can see, it has a Debian and a flat pack, which is good. Totally depends on you and which options you want to have, but I really like this kind of choice here. This is really nice. Uh, let's close this one and let's go back to activities. I mean, I like it so far, yeah. So how about we click this, show applications. It has what? System, what do we have here? So we have language support, we have system monitor. How about open system monitor? I mean, this is totally looks, oh my gosh, it like, totally looks inspired from the Mac OS kind of kind of theme. I mean, no, this is not bad. This is cool. Uh, that's okay. What else? System terminal, weather, utilities, office. How about office? Okay, we have LibreOffice Writer. This is nice. It has the uh, night mode kind of theme. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool. Looks really nice. <laughs> I mean, well, it's a typical LibreOffice kind of stuff. So what do you expect? Firefox. Let's open Firefox. All right, I would expect this one to open a System76 website, but let's open it or something. So yeah, it's loading fine, but it's, it's a little bit slow because it's basically running in a virtual machine, but it's gonna be fine because it's an Ubuntu system, it should be stable and all that. I like the Pop OS kind of simplicity compared to Ubuntu. Ubuntu just became like so much disturbed by all this new stuff. <laughs> so I feel like this one is cool. And this looks especially cool when you're like a little bit drunk, like I'm right now after some, like a couple of uh, glasses of 
when it especially looks cool. Yeah, utilities, USB flasher, character map, image viewer, document viewer, archive manager extensions. It seems like this is like a really good amount of applications for the start. So you can install wherever you want. It looks good to me. All right, close without saving. All right, what about settings? So what do we have here? Size for desktop icons, standard, show personal folder and desktop. Okay, trash, uh, okay, let's trash. Icon looks nice. Show hidden files, yeah, I like that. Show image thumbnails and all that. It's nice, I mean, it's only specific settings that you actually need, not much junk here. What about this? How about display settings? Okay, cool, so what do we have here? Displays, mouse and touchpad, firmware. Yeah, I think this is only applicable to like system 76 kind of hardware, which this specific distro is just like totally, totally like paired with all that uh, system 76 kind of hardware. And I actually want to try it out at some point, definitely. Appearance, background, appearance. How about we change it to light? How about we change it to light mode? Cool. So this is not a dark mode anymore. And let's change the background to something else. How about we change to this? Totally fine. Let's open the terminal once again. So you can just open the terminal from right click and you can install the apps like the usual way and let's install my favorite MC cool let's install so midnight commander works so I'm totally happy about it this one is probably for uh, opening a separate tab yeah it opens the second step here and this one are the options okay advanced and all those kind of options and it looks nice so what can I say about this operating system guys I feel like it's really nice it's simple it's up to the point it's not like Ubuntu which is like overflowed with a bunch of different stuff it feels like I mean, I like it. I mean, I have nothing against Ubuntu. Ubuntu is also really nice. But I mean, this system seems to be really, really nice to me as well. So let's just go ahead and uh, power it off. Power off. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos. And it was really nice to have you around. Thank you and bye bye.